Hello boys and girls, what's up? It's Tree of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the custom NPCs mod for Minecraft version 1.6.2 and above. That means it should work for future versions to come. Um, with that said, we're going to get started right away. What you need to do is click the one link in the description below, and you'll be brought here to the custom NPCs mod form thread. Um, so pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down, and we're going to go to the download section right here. So go ahead and uh, open up the download uh, little link right here. It just says download, and it's blue, so click that. And it's going to bring you here. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit the download button right here. So hit download. And it's going to take you here to this uh, this uh, site right here. What you have to do is you have to wait for the download now button to become available. Rest is preparing the download request. Please just wait for that. It'll pop up any second now. And go ahead. There you go. Hit the download button. And it's going to begin downloading it right now. So if you, if you guys have the option of saving it, make sure you save it to your desktop. Um, it's going to make the tutorial very quick for you. And it's really going to speed up the video uh, for both of us, really. Okay, so I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel on it. And, okay, so close it. And what we need to do now is we have to actually go download Forge. Uh, so go ahead and click that Download Here button. Uh, it'll take you straight to it, so you don't have to worry about clicking another link or anything. So open that up. It might take a couple seconds. And there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the most recent version. However, if it does specify a certain version, make sure you download that version. Uh, in my case, I'm using 1.6.2, so I'm going to download the most recent 1.6.2 version. So click that. And it should open up a new link for us to go into. So we just got to wait. And go ahead and open up the... I'm going to download the installer. However, if you don't feel comfortable in downloading the installer, I highly recommend downloading the universal version. And you can install it manually. However, I'm going to be showing how to use it with the installer. So go ahead and click the AdFly installer link. I am going to click the AdFly link. If, However, if you have... Uh, for some reason you can't use AdFly, um, go ahead and uh, download the direct link and it'll make it uh, pretty much the same file you're going to get. It's just, you know, you're not helping out the mod developers as much. So hit the keep button. I'm going to make sure you save it to your desktop. Uh, if you don't do that, again, it's going to be a little harder to do the tutorial. So just make sure you save it to your desktop. It's just going to make it a lot faster. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. And we're going to go in and close the internet. We no longer need the internet, so go in and close it. All you need to do now is you need to have your two files that you downloaded on your desktop. It should look something like this, custom NPCs underscore version, whatever you have. In my case, it's 1.6.2. And then you should have another file. It should be Minecraft Forge uh, dash installer with a whole bunch of other letters and numbers after that. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start the tutorial by opening the Minecraft Forge launcher. So go ahead and cl double click on this little jar file that you downloaded. And it should bring up this little box here. Hit OK. And there you go. Now you're going to hit OK again. And then now what we need to do is we need to go into our percent app data. So we're going to click here in the bottom left and type in percent app data. 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 I said that really weird. I don't know how, I don't even know how to recreate that sound. All right, so hit Enter. And then go into the .minecraft folder right here. And then open up the uh, mods folder. Now, you might not have anything here. I've just put some uh, example files in here for you. Um, so, yeah. What you're going to need to do is you just need to drag the custom NPCs folder right here. Um, you're not going to open it up like you would. I'm just showing you an example. So, this is what's inside of it. Um, you're just going to literally just drag this into the mods folder. Done. That's all you have to do. So, go ahead and close this. And now what you're going to do is just open up Minecraft. We have the mod installed and everything. Um, this is going to be really easy to do now. Okay, so you're going to have a profile. In my case, it says my name, but it does show a new little link here, a new profile called Forge. Hit Forge, and then, you're, of course, you are going to have to re-sign in, so let me go ahead and... Oh, I can just use an existing user, so to hit Play. I did not know that was a feature of Minecraft. That's really cool. Hit Play, and it's going to go through. It, of course, if you do get a black screen, uh, make sure to... Uh, I highly recommend looking at the comments below uh, because users do find errors with my videos, and they do mistake... Uh, not mistake mistake me that makes no sense uh correct me so um again just watch that uh watch the comments read the description for any notes in it it might say what i did wrong in the video um maybe the version change it has to install a different way so just really pay attention uh if the video doesn't work don't dislike it and stuff ask a comment leave a comment and ask a question and i will try to contact you back and i will let you guys know my uh opinion and try to give you guys as much information as possible so as you can see it says there's four mods loaded if you hit the mods button here it says custom NPCs mod has been installed, so we hit done. And we're going to go to single player and do a creative world. So create a new world and creative mode and create a new world. Now we're doing this so we can actually go into it and show you guys evidence that the mod itself is actually working. We'll find an item, maybe uh, a block or something that normally isn't in it. Hello, animals. Jeez. All right. So let's go and find a tool. We go over and here we go. Custom NPC tools. The NPC wand. 
we'll use that, and we'll just go ahead and create an NPC real quick. Holy, this is really lagging the first time through. As you can see, all the stuff is here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the X button, and there's our uh, our little NPC. So yeah, the uh, mod is installed, and it is correctly working. So yeah, of course, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe, and if you guys need help with any other mods, feel free to click the link at the end of the video, and it will take you to a whole list of mods I have shown how to install before. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. As usual, I already said this, so see you guys later.